first day in Paris and it is raining. Because Paris is so beautiful though, it feels like it's immune to the rain. You can be walking around the streets of Paris, just taking it all in, and then stumble upon a view like this. Old meets new. And just like that, a serendipitous run-in with some beautiful art like the Stravinsky Fountain and the Centre Pompidou just kind of makes you forget that it's raining and makes you remember that you're in Paris where art is everywhere. The Stravinsky Fountain sits right in front of the Centre Pompidou and coincidentally right in front of the restaurant that we're about to eat at. It also has really cool structures like this mermaid. I just feel like I need to stop and appreciate for a second. Okay, we're on our way to get some crepes, like I mentioned. So we headed into this restaurant to get some crepes. They had a really wide selection of different like combinations of toppings for crepes. And this salad was just a really unique salad. It was like a deconstructed hamburger. It's actually really delicious, but maybe not as authentic French food as I was hoping for. To help us walk off that meal, it looks like the rain has cleared up and we can comfortably walk to St. Chapelle. St. Chapelle looks nice on the outside, but like so many things, it's not what's on the outside, but what's on the inside that counts. Trust me, this place is gorgeous. Okay, so you see those stained glass windows? Each one of them depicts a unique scene. And when you put a thousand of those themes all together, something really magical happens. This is the second floor and it took my breath away. When I turned the stairs, my jaw just dropped. I could not believe how beautiful this was. These colors are, these are not digitally enhanced. This is really how it looked like with the sun coming into the stained glass windows. It was just so breathtaking. I think I spent a really long time just staring up at the windows, standing and walking around the chapel, looking at the windows. Um, just wow, wow. So we're on our way to Notre Dame. We just finished Saint Chapelle, which was gorgeous. Like my jaw literally dropped when I turned the stairs on the second floor. It, oh my gosh! I like. I hope we got enough video for it because it was just gorgeous. I hope I did it justice. Um, we're not gonna go into Notre Dame. We're just gonna take a look on the outside, just like a quick walk by of it because we're really close to it anyway. And then we're gonna go get some gelato. It stopped raining, which is amazing. I'm like so glad that it stopped raining. It's gorgeous. There's something really romantic about it when it was raining, but. It makes uh, walking a lot slower. So I'm, I'm loving this right now, I'm loving it. Notre Dame is obviously still under renovation and it's just, it's all blocked off and there's all this construction. It's just, it's really sad, it's really sad. After a quick snack, we headed to the metro so that we could get to Galleries Lafayette. Galleries Lafayette is one of the most famous department stores in Paris, known for their Christmas decorations. Next, we're going to walk to Chanel's flagship store in Paris. Chanel herself, actually, her apartment was above this store. She lived above the store in the early 1900s, and it's just a great spot to visit if you're looking to pick up a Chanel bag while you're in Paris. After dropping off our goodies, we're going to head here. We're at the Arc of Triumph for La de Triomphe. And um, we are like right here in the middle of the Champs Elysees. Like there are just cars circling us round and round and round. We're right at the center of it. We're gonna go up top of this bad boy and see like a nice view of the Eiffel Tower. One of the light shows is gonna start very soon, so it'll just be like a really nice view, a nice vantage point to just see the entire city lit up at night. Welcome to the top of the Arc of Triumph, and look at this view. After staying at the top of the Arc of Triumph pretty much until they kicked us out, we climbed down the many stairs and walked along the Champs Elysees. As we're walking there, we come across a McDonald's, and I don't know what it is about McDonald's, but I love seeing McDonald's in foreign countries, so we had to pop in and just see what it was like. And actually, the McDonald's in Paris 
are beautiful. They're really, really well decorated, really, really large, and really well maintained. Like, look how gorgeous this is. And of course, the whole point is to check out the menu. And when we looked at their fries section, they not only have regular fries, but they also have deluxe potatoes. I don't know what that is, so of course, we have to try it. Were they delicious? Absolutely. I really hope they bring these to the States. The McDonald's also has like a bakery inside of it where they have really good looking macarons and baked goods. Good morning! Because we're still jet lagged, it's actually afternoon, and so instead of breakfast, we're gonna have lunch. We're heading to Benoit, which is a Michelin star restaurant serving up classic French food. They're over 100 years old, so there's a lot of history here. Their menu can be a bit pricey, but a really great way to save money while enjoying Michelin star food is to go during lunch. Benoit offers a 39 euro set price menu for lunch, and that's exactly what we did. It was delicious. All the menus also come in English, and the waiters are really nice about speaking English. We're heading to this art building right now that's supposed to be like floor to ceiling art, and there's a lot of artists currently working in there using it as their studio, just producing a bunch of art, has a lot of history. Um, I'm really excited to just to go see it. Can you see it? It's right where those two green sculptures are. Welcome to 59 Rivoli. As we climb the staircases, we see a different mural on every floor. On each level, you can actually walk through the different artist studios. And while we were visiting, we were lucky enough to catch a few artists in action. I absolutely love going to grocery stores in foreign countries. So we're in a grocery store just picking up a couple of things that also browsing. It's really fun to see what they have. Of course, since it's near the holidays, they have Ferrero Rocher pyramids, which I love. And they're so much more affordable here. So my French teacher always told me that when you see these petite écoliers cookies in the supermarkets in the States, that they're really from France. And so seeing them here really confirms that. Not only do they have them, they have a lot of different varieties. So seems pretty French to me. So the prices in America for water are ridiculous compared to here. Look, for one liter, look at these price differences. So here you can get a liter of bottled water for under one dollar. And not only is it bottled water, it is Evian and San Pellegrino. So really makes you wonder. You can also get just like a house champagne for $2.50. All right, we're on our way to the Louvre, but we've got a little, a little bit distracted by this view. Freaking gorgeous. We're trying to make it to the Louvre before sunset because it'll just be like a really nice, beautiful view to take in. Um, and Troy's never seen the Louvre before, so I'm excited. Um, and we're just we're slowly walking there, very slowly. After getting very distracted by all the sights along the way, we finally made it to the entrance of the entrance of the Louvre Museum. And like so many other times during our trip, we ran into some unexpected beauty on the way to our destination. This square was fantastic. We just reached this really beautiful square, so I'm just gonna, let's do a quick 360 because it's all around. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, you see it? 
I don't know how zoomed in on my face I am right now, so I hope you just don't, don't just see my face and like nothing changing in the back. But it's amazing, right? This is so, ah, I could just stay here. Somehow we managed to peel ourselves away from this really beautiful plaza and finally walk to our destination, the Louvre. So this is even better than the other square. The Louvre is so iconic and so beautiful that understandably everyone wants to get a really cool picture with it. So you see people on pillars just trying to get really cool creative photos with it. So I tried my hand at this. It didn't quite go as I thought it would. No, yeah, yeah. A little bit lower. A little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Your hand's not flat. Yeah, yeah, right there. You can kind of see what I'm going for. I'm trying to hold the Louvre in the palm of my hands. I was not far enough away from it to really pull off this illusion. Go. But of course, if you put me in charge of the selfie, then I get Charlie a really good illusion. After it started getting a little chilly outside, we escaped into Le Carousel du Louvre, where we found this gigantic upside down glass Louvre coming from the ceiling. I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but it was beautiful. And of course, when you're in Paris, you gotta check out the shops. I wasn't planning to pick anything up, but something just called to me. It's okay for you. Okay. <laughs> Merci. After all that walking, sightseeing, and shopping, we were getting kind of hungry, so it's time for dinner. We headed to OPA de Cochon, which literally means, I think, of the pig's feet. This was definitely one of my favorite meals in Paris. If you're feeling adventurous, definitely try the frog legs. They are amazing. And of course, their namesake, the Pied de Cochon, absolutely fantastic. And of course, it comes with fries. And they were really polite about bringing out ketchup for us without laughing at us. Goodbye, Paris. I'm very sad to leave you. Good morning. We are waiting for our Uber to take us to the Gare de Lyon so we can get on the train and Unfortunately, say goodbye to Paris and hello to Nice. Thank you so much for coming to Paris with us. If you'd like to continue on our adventure with us, we're headed next to Nice. Please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on the next video. Hope to see you there.